all laughter is the best exercise the people who don't take any kind of tension right you must have seen this uh, what what we call as a munna bhai ambibius in that one the dean is there the college dean he shouts at somebody and <laughs> he laughs that is he is we have taken that as a comedy there it is not the comedy because he wanted to drive away the tension within him and certain people if they get anger right what they do is they count numbers what for to suppress this anger why anger brings a man tension tension means you will be having high blood pressure high blood pressure means what it is very dangerous so to reduce that we have the medicine the laughter and there we here there are many laughter clubs or laughing clubs in the morning we can see when the morning walk people are going the people will be laughing putting their hands up and they laugh and when they put the hands up they have stretched their body means whatever the tension is there in any any muscle of their body they are relaxing it by putting their hands up and then they put their mouth upward and they laugh means the lungs are cleared the nasal part is cleared and the cheeks which are there they are getting contraction and uh, expansion everything right and uh, eyes are also bulged out when you are laughing out he <laughs> he not that they will be laughing like that open kula they laugh it and so that is the best medicine because it releases uh, your tension right and when you are not having tension your but blood pressure is normal when your blood pressure is normal normal pulse rate will be there normal heart beat will be there and there cannot be any kind of failure in any system of your physiology no system every system will be working properly and if you are having constipation means what one system excretory system is not working your excretory excretory system is not working means what you might not have slept last night or you are having some tension your mind is not working your body is not working somewhere some mistake occurred and hence you are facing constipation see very small thing right and you don't have time even to go for your washroom you don't have time to go to washroom you have that much of homework you have just suppressed it you contained it how long and what would happen to that you may be become a patient of kidney stones because you have contained that urine within yourself waste products are to be left out under no circumstances they are to be within your body and your excretory system should work properly you have to sweat you have to sweat sweat should go out right you have to go to washroom that should go out and the constipation should not be there then your body is okay 50% is okay your digestive system will be working properly so for all these things medicine is what laughter why you are releasing your tension from every part of your body whether it is an organ or whether it is a muscle or the mind or the blood pressure whatsoever you are releasing the tension whatsoever whatsoever wherever wherever it is there in your body so second one what we are seeing here is the laughter the best medicine now when we talk about the restlessness if at all you don't have rest sir what is this sir i am sitting no sir is sitting a rest you call once no and there is an analysis the people who continuously work sitting in a chair they have very short span of life than the people one who work more in standing means if there is a factory of manufacture the people who are there 
they have to stand and work right and that fellow the worker it's his lifetime is more than the manager who sits and commands why he is sitting 8 hours and this fellow is work, standing over there 8 hours so what i say is when you are sitting that you can understand what happens there are people here many the students and the children and even adults of my kind also what they do is immediately after going from the office they again sit in the sofa in front of the tv they ask for tea they ask for water they ask for something eat and they go on eating that so what happens this obesity comes right obesity means weight is increasing i cannot walk and if i am i cannot walk i what i will say is i neglect walking if i neglect walking what happens you see the limbs don't work even if they want to work i am getting this i will be hoping like a something then what happens i cannot breathe properly i lose my breath <laughs> i cannot hey let me sit hardly i would have walked for a few meters then i get this why my legs do not have any practice not only that when i sit and eat i don't bother how much weight i am putting on me to to lift 5 kg i said it is it has become very difficult if i am putting 10 kg over my body can i lift and walk no ultimately i have to sit just simply shift from here to there and slowly slowly my legs won't be working so what the people do is they bring the wheelchair and they cart me here and there that also i feel very nice okay very good but ultimately my obesity will be coming out of my shirt and no shirt can contain me then guinness book people will be coming the world weightest person or heaviest person or the thick person or fat test person that way they come i am very happy the world book guinness world book records of world book i am getting my name in there that way we may feel happy but when this is increasing something has to decrease no because everything is a, a maintained in our body in a ratio ratio means what this nose has a ratio with my face and so i look nice again this hair it has a ratio with my head and so my head is appearing nice and my this hand this fingers they have some ratio and so it appears good let us think this part is attached here this part is attached here do i look nice no why this is attached here there is no ratio likewise your stomach your this and your legs your thighs your shoulders and your this arms everything are should be maintained in a proper ratio nowhere the growth should be excessive and if at all i am sitting whatever weight i am putting that weight simply goes here and i become obese this obesity this obesity it is a very fatal to the life why your stomach and thoracic region it has increased but the lungs etc they are not increasing to such one but the external pressure is more and inside space is more can it take more air more pressure suppose it has taken more pressure then to that pressure whether your heart can work or not pump the blood or not no then what happens because there is space more space inside your thoracic region the outward atmospheric air wants to rush in but your lungs are not so big as the air rushes in 
Suppose they contained that air, but that air should be transported into the blood and there is more air in your lungs, less blood in your lungs, then that resulted into again the quick transfusion of gases, quick blood going inside the heart. But your heart, it doesn't got used to that quickness. Then what will occur to you? There will be a pain in your heart and you will call it the heart attack and you will die. So the people having obesity, they die at a very early age. Maybe they have been given a title that he is the world greatest, heaviest personality, greatest, the most and heaviest, whatever you put, Esther. You may have that, but the very shortest living person on the earth is that. And about him we are reading here, Wapping Walter Hudson. He is a person and he has been recorded as, a, he was being recorded as a, the heaviest person and he got the Guinness Book entry over there. But at the age of 46 he died. Means you have to, a human being life span is 100 years. But not even 50% of his age is covered. He died. Right? And next we are having the world of sports. Then what is this games and sports do in your life? Is it only uh, what we can say restricted to only Olympics? Only to your uh, what we call as the schools? The clubs alone? No. The sports should be there in your body. That spirit should be there in your body. You should play and you should know what is the you know, what, what is the result of your games and sports. And they keep your body in a very fit and in a conditioned manner. They keep your body. And so here in this unit we are reading about the world of sports. Now as I already told when I am talking about this I already told nature's medicine because nature is having a variety of medicines. If your immunization somewhere, if it is getting shot, you can take something and you can increase your immunization. Right? And that is a cycle like thing we have to see. But now, because we are having many medicines, allopathy, homeopathy, Ayurveda, Likewise, we are having many, many, many things, right? And we are accustomed to that only. But we are not giving any time for your natural healing. What is natural healing? What I said is, when there is a wound here, a cut mark here, the blood comes. And after a few seconds, if you see, the blood gets clotted there. No more blood come. Means healing process started already. That time also we don't want to give. That time also we don't want to give. It has to be shown to the doctor. And it has to be. No. Here and so here it is said. Nature is medicine. Or nature's medicine. Is a chapter here in E. And that gives us the complete structure of the medicine. Why should we take medicine? How nature is a medicine? How nature has the medicine? Simple example I will tell you. And when it is got getting clotted here, people use it to put the turmeric powder here. Turmeric powder. And now they are telling turmeric is an antibiotic. And neem leaves. Magoza and that leaves and just crush it and put that few drops here and put that uh, what we call as the haldi here and tie, you got healed. Suppose some internal, uh, what we call uh, internal damage is somewhere we got mukha mark. Then the mothers give hot milk added with that haldi. Then your body gets relief. And now what they say is some medicinal plants we are growing. Tulasi. 
Tulasi leaf. Tulasi we worship as a goddess. In front of our house we put it. Why? The air which comes through that Tulasi leaves that can check the entry of bacteria into your house. Tulasi. Right? There are many. Aloe vera we say now. That is the best medicine for your jaundice. You take some aloe vera, this piece, remove that greenness, right? It will be just like a white, uh, spongy-like and transparent piece of piece will be there. You swallow that piece, then your liver function will be proper and you don't have the jaundice. So nature has a medicine. Nature is medicine. Nature's medicine. So what is that we are going to read here in this chapter. So this whole unit talks about health and medicine. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.